Harpo Park and welcome to another episode of our weekly review show. Things are starting to heat up for the White Tigers with only nine games remaining in the Southern League Premier South as City look to push for promotion. Only one game to look back on this week and that was when we took on Hazen Yedding United here on Saturday at Belifo Park. Here's the best of the action. Dan Sullivan had the first shot of the game as his attempt was saved by the keeper. Sullivan then set up Tyler Harvey but he dragged his effort wide of the post. James Heyman was then forced into a good diving stop up the other end. Before Dan Sullivan was fouled in the box and a penalty was awarded by the referee. Tyler Harvey stepped up but his penalty was saved by the keeper. Into the second half and Heyman made a brilliant save at the near post. Truro were piling on the pressure but failed to really test the goalkeeper. Kyle Egan saw a low shot go narrowly wide before Hayes were reduced to 10 men. Deep into stoppage time and Truro won a free kick. Connor Riley Lowe played a delightful free kick into the box, which was brilliantly finished by Oli Hayes, which won the game for the White Tigers. So a first ever senior goal for Oli Hayes proved to be enough to give the White Tigers a 1-0 victory over Hayes and Yedding United here last Saturday at Belifo Park. We now hear the thoughts of manager Paul Watton, who we caught up with after the game. Paul, a dramatic uh, last-minute winner from Ollie Hayes there, gets us three points. A, a cagey game, but you must, be, you must be buzzing with the result. Very happy with the result. Um, the clean sheet was, was welcome. <clears throat> I thought both, teams, um, thought both teams struggled on the pitch today. It was really lively, the pitch. Um, the ball was like just like a bouncy ball all game. Um, I didn't, I didn't think there was much in it. I mean, uh, Hammy's made two or three really good saves. Um, we had some good half chances. Uh, obviously, Tyler, you know, with the penalty. Um, mm. But I thought, uh, I thought our set pieces were really, really poor today, yeah. which is something that we pride ourselves on. And then in the 94th minute, Connor puts in a wonder ball and Hasty gets on the end of it. So it was always going to be decided by one real bit of quality or a mistake. Uh, my team really made a mistake, so um, you know, with a, a wonder ball at the end and a good finish from Hasty. And it was a frustrating game for you. It were, I think it was more frustrating for the players as well. Hmm. Um, we, we couldn't, we couldn't play. We couldn't get the ball down. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a, both teams hooking it on and playing forward and, and playing for second ball. So it was a bit of a fight game, really. But um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, and you know and say we deserved it or they deserved it. I thought um, overall it was. You know, it is what it is, you, and you just got to stay calm. And, and the boys stayed calm, and you know, and one bit of quality at the end just won us again. And on to a tough game now against, uh, well, week, week's time, Murphy away is never an easy place as they prove in the FA Cup, so a tough game. No, a very, very tough game, but I think we're just going to breathe for a little bit. We've, we've got through February, and today we've had a, uh, a tremendous amount of games in a short period of time. So, you know, we've got a couple of knocks and stuff, so we need to evaluate all that. We need to breathe and just. You know, get back on the training ground, and just—it's nice to have um, no midweek games for quite a while now. Yeah. And to finish, obviously after last week's disappointment, to come here, two games at the life, a win against Chesham and a win against Hayes, like two very tough opponents. You must be delighted. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's really important that people realise uh, away to Paul, away to Swindon, home to Chesham, home to Hayes is four teams all in the top seven. Yeah. You know, so it's a it's a real tough run of games that four. And would we have liked to have come out with it more than six points? Of course we would, but after losing the two away games for the boys to react you bang on for the boys to react the way they have and get six points in two home games against two top teams is uh, credit to the lads the White Tigers will be looking to make it three consecutive wins in the Southern League Premier South as they're back on the road on Saturday when they travel to Wales to take on Merthyr Town at the Met Coaches Community Stadium City's last visit to Wales came in September as they were beaten 5-2 by Merthyr in the FA Cup despite being 2-1 up at half time the team's last met in January and it was a stalemate as the game ended 0-0 here at Belifo Park. The reserves have moved four points clear at the top of the St Piran League after back-to-back -back victories over the last seven days. Firstly, Jacob Grange scored the only goal of the game late on to give the White Tigers a 1-0 victory over Perrinwell at Tregai Fields before they beat Farm of Town 3-0 away on Tuesday evening with goals coming from George Newton, Josh Marcells and Jacob Grange. No game for the reserves this coming weekend. They're next in action on the 18th when they take on second place Mausel away from home at Trungle Park. 
It's the end of the road for the under-18s in the Rathbone Cup as they bowed out of the competition on Sunday when they were beaten 1-0 away from home against Helsin Athletic. That's all we've got time for this week. Make sure to tune into next week's show where we'll have full highlights from the Merthyr Town game as well as reaction from the players and management. Thanks for watching. I've been Cameron Weldon and I'll see you next week.